Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. Today we have a topic from public health dentistry that is COPRA or also known as Consumer Protection Act. Sometimes it is known as CPA, Consumer Protection Act. This is Consumer and Protection for Act. So before moving on, we need to understand who is a consumer. So consumer can be any individual or household that use goods and services generated within the economy or someone who acquires goods or services for direct use or ownership. Okay, it should be direct use or ownership rather than for resale or use in production and manufacturing okay not for resale or production and manufacturing so that is a concept consumer he should use the goods and services directly or for ownership not for resale or production and manufacturing just for an example your father buys apple for you and you consume them okay so father and son or daughter okay so father buys an apple so the son or daughter consume the apple so the father as well as the daughter are treated as consumers the same thing applies to hiring a taxi uh, to go to your workplace or go to your school or college okay so that is a concept of consumer so this this example will give you a very clear idea because the apple is bought by father and consumed by the son or daughter okay so they are consumers both father and son or daughter they are consumers they are using it for direct use or ownership not for resale or any production or manufacturing that is a concept of consumer so why we need copra or consumer protection act why we need to protect the consumers because there are times where we might face overpricing we can see during the seasonal time or festival season overpricing of the goods or there will be bargaining not by the consumers the sellers lobby they bargain and they'll keep the prices very high and there are many laws there were many laws like indian contract act sale of goods act essential commodities act they are very complicated act for a common man to deal with so in order to avoid all these the copra resist any common man can easily apply or easily go to the court for the redressal and this law compared to the other laws such as indian contract act or sale of goods act or essential commodities act helps the person to be less expensive less time consuming and avoid the regular visit to court so these are the reasons for the enactment of copra act so moving on copra act came into existence in 1986 so that is a landmark year for the consumers so we directly jump to the three tier systems okay before that the objective is to protect the consumers from abuse to provide a venue for uh, grievances to ensure a better quality of living by improving the quality of consumer products and services so those are the objectives of this cpa now we have three tier system where a consumer can file the case so this table helps you to understand the copra in a comprehensive way 
that is the consumer dispute redressal agencies at a three levels that is one is at the district level then the state level and national level okay so the first one is a district level that is up to 20 lakhs that is a problems or the disputes of the consumer which is ranging up to 20 lakhs will be dealt at the district level so in the district level court there will be uh, a district judge and two other members and among them one must be a woman that is for the district level whereas the state level it will be dealt uh, for the problems which is ranging from 20 lakh to 1 crore and this court will be having a high court judge before in district level there will be a district judge now we have a high court judge with two extra members now we have national level that is national consumer dispute redressal commission that is how it is called so it deals cases which is ranging more than one crore so in the committee or in the court there must be a person who has been a supreme court judge and there, sh there should be minimum four other members so this is how it goes up to 20 lakhs 20 lakhs to one crore more than one crore there should be a district judge high court judge and supreme court judge so this is a comprehensive way to understand the three level system of copra that was all about copra act uh, it is a commonly asked short note in public health industry so this much information would be enough to get you uh, 2.5 marks in 3 or 3.54 marks out of 5 uh, basically copra is a very big chapter uh, there are various things which is coming under copra uh, what is happening at district level state level what if the court rejects the petition at district level he can file appeal to state or appeal to national level so there are various things coming under but i have not addressed all those things i just want you to understand the basic framework at three levels and who is a consumer and the basic uh, its introduction in 1986 and why it is came into existence all those things so i'll come up with a new topic in the industry and more thank you